Hi, and welcome to part one of the flexibility series. Now, in this flexibility series, we're gonna start with the basics. I'm gonna show you beginning variations of all these stretches. As we progress, I'm gonna show you more advanced techniques that are really going to accelerate your mobility. But it's important that we just become comfortable with the positions at first and holding them for time. Time under tension, being in the stretch for a long and significant amount of time is what's really important for changing our flexibility. Now it's key that you're warmed up for these stretches. So practice any of the classes that you really liked before, before doing this routine, and then you'll integrate this routine throughout the week, ideally three times a week. Let's get started. We're gonna start by warming up the spine, and then we're gonna get right into the stretches. So come onto your hands and your knees for a cat-cow. We're gonna go five rounds. Exhaling to round and inhaling into extension. <clears throat> then scoot your knees back slightly with your toes curled under, stretch your hips back like child's pose. And then come forward, hips to wrists, like up dog, five times. All right, now right into our first shoulder stretch. <clears throat> Step your left foot forward, take your arms up overhead and grab a hold of your elbows. Now as you lift up through your elbows and through your side ribs, let your front ribs drop in and down so that your sternum comes back to a neutral position so you're not pushing your chest forward. So it's gonna reveal how much shoulder flexion we can really get. And then from there with your buttock tucked under, lean over to your left and breathe. Come back up, change sides. and come back up. <clears throat> now stand and take your legs wide apart. Go to a comfortable stretch to where you feel like you're getting a good stretch on your adductors and your inner thighs, but not so much to where you won't be able to come up or you feel unsteady. Go for about a five on a scale of one to 10. Hold there and breathe. Then to come out of this stretch out position safely, heel toe your feet in towards each other.
Good, now come to a seated wide-legged stretch. Sit up straight and tall. We're gonna hold for one minute. Now, if you're more flexible and you don't feel much of a stretch to sit with your legs wide apart like this, start to lean forward some amount. But see if you can keep a flat back instead of hunching over. You might be even able to put your hands out in front, lower your chest down, grab a hold of your feet, wherever you have to go to feel the stretch. Keep in mind that these are the beginner variations of the stretches and will progress in the flexibility series. All right, then bring your legs together. And next we're gonna practice the standing forward fold. Now in the standing forward fold, it's important that you can let your spine release and fold forward. So if when you go to straighten your legs, your spine lifts up and away from the ground, it'd be better to keep a bend in your knees so that you can fold forward better. If it's difficult to bring the hands to the floor, Elevate the floor, whether that's blocks, books, or whatever you got. and release that. Next, we're gonna come into the low lunge. So bring your right foot forward with your left knee down. For some, this might be a deep stretch. For others, we'll progress hands onto floor, hands onto blocks. Still yet for others, it might be able to bend the back knee and reach back and hold the foot. But if you have to do it with rounding, you might need to elevate the floor. We're practicing holding the stretch here for one minute. Release that stretch and change sides. Take the variation that feels like you get a five on a scale of one to 10. If you're taking the foot in this variation, I like the thumb to point up so we get an opening in the front of the shoulder. Practice slow, steady breathing in and out through your nose. Really focus on the exhalation to release tension. So if you can make the exhalation longer than the inhalation, it'll help your body to relax deeper. You might notice that as you start to approach the one minute mark, your body starts to feel more supple, like you can relax deeper, a little deeper into the stretch. 
That's going to be important as we start to move on and progress in the flexibility series. Release that stretch. Now bring your hips back over top of your knee and then slide the foot forward for half splits. Depending on your flexibility in the half splits, you might be able to scoot this knee further back instead of keeping it right underneath the hips. You might even be able to upright yourself and start to slide deeper into the splits. So go to where you feel your balance stretch, work your edge of sensation and relaxing. And again, just notice what happens as you hold and relax, tune into your breath. Good. Change sides. And release. <laughs> Watch out for the credenza. Thank you for joining me for part one of the flexibility series. In part two, we're gonna progress, we'll go deeper, and I'll show you some skills that are really gonna to help to lock in the flexibility. But I just wanted you to get a foundation. Now, what's gonna be important is that you practice these at least three times a week. So you can practice it after some exercise, you can add it to the end of a yoga class, but holding and increasing time under tension is the most important thing for developing our flexibility. So again, three, maybe four times a week, but ideally at least three. And we're gonna see what integrating this regularly will start to do for your flexibility. Thank you.